the, this exhibition contains um, such rich records um, that can help us to understand our past, records that will make us um, uneasy at times because of the, the brutality that was um, and carried out against uh, Belize's African ancestors and records as well that leaves us with bits and pieces about the past because not every record here and every record at the archives is very is is tells the full story there's always a need there's always a need to go back and try to find additional records and in some cases they're just gaps in our understanding gaps that can be filled um, by looking at other sources of history and at other archives I am hoping that with events like today, um, through the partnership with Niche, that the general public will see the importance of the archives, will be able to know what it is that we have at our disposal, the original, unique archival records that exist in our country, where people can see firsthand the actual records of our nation, as opposed to just reading through, reading them through um, history books, that you can actually visit the, actual, the National Archives and get a firsthand account of these records. Well, even be before UB, I could speak from personal experience. Uh, I used to like history in high school. Uh, you know, I thought that maybe I would be an attorney uh, later on, but um, as, as a history student, but we were limited to, to Arawaks, to African. That was the, the, the gamut that uh, we covered. And then uh, there was a missing period, a missing era, uh, the pre-emancipation, the slavery, and then uh, going beyond emancipation, you know, limited information. So all through high school, a lot of the information that I know now, uh, post -emancipa emancipation was not covered. So I'm very grateful uh, to the archives to, for opening the doors uh, with this information.